Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over the iTunes store. Okay, start in the top left, we have genres. We can go ahead and click on genres, and this allows you to choose from things. And you've purchased ringtones from here also, so you can just go ahead and click on ringtones, and then you can scroll through here and see what's available. Okay? And then you can just continue on through all the different genres and just pick out anything that you're interested in and go from there. Okay? And when you're happy with what your selection is, just go ahead and do so. Just go ahead and click that, and then I'm going to go ahead and press cancel. Okay? Now, if you notice, I'm on the featured chart, but there's also uh, other charts. We'll go ahead and click on other charts. And we have uh, the top uh, songs, talks, top albums, top music videos, and so on and so forth. Now, over here to the far right, this is our wish list. And as you can see, I have placed a, an album inside my wish list. And if I would like, I can go ahead and purchase it. And moving on over to Siri, what I did here was I asked Siri to go ahead and listen to a song that I was listening to. And Siri put that information in there, letting me know what I was listening to. I also use iTunes Radio. These are the songs that I listen to, and it automatically puts them in there from the radio just to kind of keep track and help you remember what you've listened to and allows you to purchase it. And these previews, this is uh, songs that I've listened to. And if I'd like, I can clear all of these if I'd like. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the Red Hot Chili Peppers there, show you what it looks like inside this individual artist. And if you'd like, I can just kind of scroll around and just take a look at everything. Take a look and see what I'm interested in. And you can see music videos. They even have an app. Songs, the whole nine yards. Well, let's just say as an example, this uh, this particular song here, I'm, I'm kind of interested in. I like it. As a matter of fact, I can, um, I can preview it just by go ahead and clicking on it. And it starts doing the preview right there. And if I would like, I can go ahead and... Uh, Press that little share sheet button right there. I can add it to my wish list. It's that simple to add it to my wish list. And I can go ahead and stop my uh, my viewing of that. And I can take a, take a look at the reviews. And I can write a review myself. As you can see from my wish list there, see so it has been added there also. All right. I added that particular song and I previewed this one. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like when you want to purchase the song. What you need to do is you need to press get and then press it one more time to make sure that's what you really want and then it may ask you for your password and if it does just go ahead and enter your password and then you're good to go and the song will be downloaded and added to your collection okay that's all you have to do that's the same for all these different uh, categories such as music movies and tv shows all right and then if we like we can just go ahead and press play and the song will go ahead and start playing inside the uh, music app now what i'm going to do is i'm going to step on over here to the movies Movies works uh, pretty much the uh, same way. It just uh, looks a little bit different. And what we can do is we can go ahead and click on the uh, Le Lego movie. And again, we can uh, buy it just like we did. Uh, we talked about before. We could read the reviews. We could watch the trailers. Trailers are actually very good trailers. iTunes has notoriously good trailers. And there's some extras that are available. Yeah, we can just keep on reviewing. Here you see who are who's in the cast. All sorts of different information. Okay. And down here at the bottom here also lets you know that this is available on SD. All right. Now we can click on reviews. And reviews are uh, just what you think they are. Basically someone has uh, went through and wrote some what they think of it. All right. Good to go. Now over here we can press the share sheet. And we can go ahead and uh, add it to our wish list. Or we could share it with someone, we could gift it, whatever we'd like to do. We can look at our wish list, and now you can see that the Lego movie has been added to my wish list. All right, the TV shows look a lot like the movies. It's just that it's actually TV shows. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on one. And here, if you'd like, you can actually pay $20 for the entire season. Or you can come down here, and you can get, the, as 104 as an example, you can get just this one particular episode. And if you notice that 103, 102 were are not available for individual uh, purchases you have to get those as part of the season pass so something to think about you know depending on you know what what do you want to do do you want to watch the whole thing or do you just want to pick up on that one show that you missed it's up to you and then a little bit farther down to have some information and some of the details about the season pass and then of course you can get these uh, sd version and you can read the reviews if you'd like 
and you can see how everything's going there with, with the reviews. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and go to search. And search works just like what you think it does. You just click on a particular word, you look for something, and then it searches for out throughout the whole app store. It, when I say the whole app store, it goes all the way around. It says the entire app store, or all, and then it says songs, albums, ringtones, music videos, music videos, and more. All right, and here's some more that you get some choices from, okay? All right, and then what you can do is you can just kind of scroll through and take a look at what you'd like. And then again, you can uh, check out some of the samples. And of course, down here, these podcasts means you can download them. They're free. No big deal. All righty then. All right, now let's take a look at more. And again, more, you have some audiobooks that you can listen to. You have some tones, Genius, that's, that's curated music for you. And then you have your purchases. Purchases work just like before. They're broken down in three different categories. And then, of course, it shows your family members. Okay. And then downloads. What this does is this shows you what is currently being downloaded. Once the item is downloaded, it is actually inside the uh, music uh, app or the uh, videos app. All right, let's take a look at the audiobooks. And here with the audiobooks, you can actually purchase um, books and listen to them and you can see for thirty dollars you can go ahead and uh, listen to the Tom Clancy uh, newest novel all right and all you have to do is uh, purchase that you can read about it you can do all, all sorts of things and if you would like again you can add it to your wish list or you could send it off to somebody again back inside settings what I'd like you to do is take a look at and make sure that you're signed in and understand that you can show all music and videos that are inside the uh, store if you would like, you can subscribe to iTunes Match. What that is, is that's $25 for a year. And what that does is it gives you access to listen to all of your music on all of your devices for a total of uh, 25,000 songs. And then here you have your automatic updates. If you wish to turn on any of these uh, toggles, what you can do is do so. But you have to understand that if, as an example, a loved one that's part of your family share plan downloads an app on, a, on their iPhone, it's going to automatically be downloaded onto yours if you have it turned on. Okay. And then the last thing I want you to be, uh, pay attention to is if you, um, whatever you do with the automatic downloads, your cellular data will be used if it's green and will not be used if it's white. And these are some suggested apps. Okay. Well, that concludes my class for today. I hope you learned something and have a good day.